Essentially what this is, is, I mean, this is a party trick, really. This is how I started. Mm -hmm. But I'll write something down behind my back. All right? I'll do it behind my back and so you back. can't see what the pencil's doing. And you can't guess what it says. All right. Is this for Judy or me or both of us? This is, uh, this is just for Judy. Okay. I've now lost the pencil down the side of the sofa. Um, I will seal that up in there. Now, Judy, this is a letter of the alphabet. Here's another pen if you want it. Done it now. It's all written. Thank you. It's a letter of the alphabet. You couldn't possibly know what it is, so don't try and guess. It's not an R or a J, because that might be a little bit obvious. Mm -hmm. But just name at the moment what letter feels right to you. A. A for apple. Mm -hmm. Any particular reason why you'd say A? No, it just came into my mind. Came into your mind. You said yeah, that. Have a look. This is so spooky. <gasps> it is indeed an A. It's now, that a. would seem... It's well, a little bit wonky, that's behind my back. But that would, it would seem like a free choice. How the hell did you do that? It would seem like a free choice, yes. <laughs> And yet, uh, what I'm doing is I'm telling you to think of A, and this is essentially what it's about. It's so you about didn't know she was going to say A, you told her to say A. Yes, but that felt like you just made that A up just right then, didn't you, in your head? As, yeah. Yeah, any particular reason? Well, I, what did you say? You said something like, I want you to think of a particular letter in the alphabet, any letter. Not R and J. No, not R and J. it was before we said not R and J, and I immediately thought mm. of A. Maybe it was what? A, maybe it was A for, in the and, was it the a and, R and J? No, no, it was before no, we said that. Weird. You're and you're not going to tell us how he did it. You're going to do a map trick, yes, which uh, has been <coughs> baffling me all day because I can't see how you're going to do this. All right, okay. Well, we've heard a number of times that psychics apparently have um, been able to tell where oil is by sort of hovering their hands over a map and mm. especially to tell where to drill for oil. Um, I think it's nonsense. I think what's happening is the psychic in question is picking up on these signals from people and someone in the room knows where the oil is and he can tell right. uh, where it's supposed to be. So let me show you this. Come over here. This okay. is a map <coughs> of uh, London. Yeah. All right. And we haven't set anything up. I haven't told you to help me out here. Or anything. Not this is on the contrary. You said don't help you in any way, shape or form. And I'm not going to. Well, I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> what I'd like you to do is, without giving anything away by, by looking anywhere on the map, but think of somewhere in London, uh, an address or a road or a place that has a significance for you of some sort. Can take a minute to do that. Oh, nothing, I've got, I've got, got nothing too obvious, not the first place you met Judy or anything no, like that. Something, no. all right, a little bit more obscure perhaps. Great, okay. Now, I want you to look at me, and don't try and help me out here. Just put your hands by your sides. We can take just a half a step nearer. All right, just look me right in the eye, and keep looking at me, and think of the place. I'm thinking Can you make a mental image of it? Yeah, I've got it fixed. All right, like a picture all right, I'm going to ask you to keep absolutely quiet when I do this. I realise that may be cripplingly difficult. Just for a second. And just think about the place. Think about where it would be. Yep. What it looks like. How you'd get there if you're approaching from the river. Where you'd uh, where you'd oh, go. Okay. All right. Whereabouts? So without looking at the map, whereabouts on the map it might be. And just think of that. And in your mind, direct me to the right place. It's, and you're thinking of. A, can you think the association? The association. It's a man. You're thinking of a man. I am. Yes. Yeah. And it's not you. And it's not a relation. It's a man, and he's wearing. Unusual clothes. Yes. yes. Like it's like a, a hat, or a, and it's got something in his mouth. Yes. Just think of it. Just think left, right. Just tell me where to go. I'm going to... Right there. Right there. Don't look. I'm not looking. Don't look. Can we get a camera? Yeah, just, just draw a circle around my finger, Judy. That'd be fantastic. All right. Can you tell me, as the camera comes in and just shows where that is... Judy, you lift the map up to show the camera. You want to tell me... Tell me where it was. Way. Tell me what it was. You were thinking of Sherlock Holmes, weren't you? I was thinking of Baker Street and Sherlock Holmes in the museum. Can we come uh, in? We drive past it most mornings. Can you see? What did I get? Am I anywhere close? You're on Baker Street. It's Baker Street, the corner of Baker Street and Marlborough Road. And that's where the museum is just there, right in the middle of the circle. Come on, <laughs> give it up. Oh, there you go. Yeah. I'm absolutely delighted. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, yeah, um, we. I cannot begin to work out how that how that happened. But you're telling me, you're telling me what possibly it possibly have known. I mean, I, I, in that little pause before I thought of that, I yes. thought of it, because what amuses me about it is there are a lot of, a lot of Japanese tourists always outside the Sherlock Holmes Museum, and I think a lot of them think that he really existed, and it was, um, we usually find ourselves in the traffic there looking sure. at it, and it's Baker Street, and it's our route in most mornings. And, I, the, and yet it was about the fifth thing that crossed my mind. I thought of Regent's Park, I thought of um, North End Road. When did you think that? Port when did you think then? You mean? Yeah, just, just then. then. Yeah, just then. A few th images about, you know, because obviously I wanted it to be involving you as well. And then I thought, ah, but, I, but we never talk about the Sherlock Holmes Museum, do we? No. Ever. I'm a huge Holmes fan. I've been there many times myself. Yeah, it's, uh, but you, you are telling me, you are telling me as we sit there, which is, as we Fantastic. stand there, which is what it is. Yeah. And the A thing, even though it was much simpler, the A thing was extraordinary. I, uh, extra, uh, weird. You'd never fail. To astonish us. <laughs> I do fail sometimes. It doesn't work all the time on right. everybody. But well, that's really? part of the risk. Oh, that's modest. Good. Well, um, maybe you'll fail later, because he's coming back a little <laughs> bit later. <laughs> Come on, then. If you'd like it, yep. All right. Um, can I sit you, just maybe change, so you're just... A Weird. You'd never fail to astonish us. <laughs> I do fail sometimes. It doesn't work all the time on right. everybody. But well, that's really? part of the risk. Oh, that's modest. Good. Well, um, maybe you'll fail later, because he's coming back a little <laughs> bit later. <laughs> Come on, then. If you'd like it, yep. All right. Um, can I sit you, just... 
Maybe change so you're just sort of facing each other dead on. <coughs> All right. Definitely, I think, sit forward a bit for this. I know your natural pose yeah, is one of right, yeah. yeah. um, Don't start looking inscrutable. Because I'm going to be. That's my special thing. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. That's a polite word for what it is. Can, can you both look? For, if you just take your hand yeah. down, put it there. And if you look just here on Richard and you look just here on Judy. Okay. All right. Um, and I'm going to ask you, uh, Richard, what I'd like you to do is to. You're going to send something across, uh, an image or a word, all right? And as you. The, the, all you have to do is to forget about whether it's psychic or not, or whether you believe in that or not, because I don't believe in it. But mm -hmm. just imagine a screen in your mind and slowly build. Um, an image or, or a word, however you want to see it. Mm -hmm. And um, <clears throat> just so that people don't feel that we've prearranged you exactly what you're going to think of, change your mind a few times so okay. that you settle on something now and that's what you're going to be thinking of, all right? Got it, yeah. As he does that, your task for me, and just keep staring right there, is to also build an image in right. your mind, all right? And right. all you have to do is very simple is just sit there and concentrate on that one image. That's all I'm going to ask you to do, okay. all right? <coughs> and as you look at each other, just both of you relax. And in your mind, just start making that image bigger and brighter. Okay. And slowly, now this thing you're thinking of, whatever it is, as you look there, just to slowly form in front of you. And imagine, instead of like a little screen now, that it's changing to like an IMAX screen in between, a huge screen with that picture on. And okay. Richard, make the picture bigger and brighter. Imagine you've got controls that you can turn up right. and you can make the contrast more, you can make it bigger and brighter and more and more vivid. Mm -hmm. And also in your mind, whatever it is, just start to say it over and over again. And you start to do the same thing. Whatever you're picturing now, just start to say what it is over and over again in your mind. Repeating it in your mind. And then start shouting it. Turn up the volume in your mind. Say nothing out loud, give nothing away, keep staring at each other. And just transmit that across to Judy. Transmit it across, send it across. And start shouting in your mind over and over again what it is. Louder and louder and louder and louder. And just concentrate and relax and just see what comes to mind. Just build that image in your own mind. Keep staring at each other louder and louder and louder. And then stop, both of you. Okay? Now, so that we know your answers are honest, take that for me. Don't let me see what you write, and don't let um, Judy see either, but just write down, or you can draw a picture if you had a picture, or you can write what it was that you were thinking. Judy, mm -hmm. in all honesty, as you were doing that, mm -hmm. what were you picturing in your mind? I was picturing a shoe. You were picturing a shoe? Mm. Any particular shoe? Just a shoe, a sort of man's shoe, I think, actually. All right. Any reaction there? It's close. What? It's close. What, what were you thinking of? What were you picturing? Boots. Good grief! Yeah? That is weird! Man's boots or ladies' boots? Or? I was thinking of her boots, actually. Oh, because right, oh, you were looking at my boots. It's not them, not them. weird! It's absolutely bizarre, isn't it? That is, and yeah. I mean, nothing... of all the objects I could think of, yeah. uh, it's an item of footwear. And there's nothing remotely psychic about it. There really isn't. It's the weirdest thing. It's absolutely bizarre. But you never even mentioned the word foot or shoe or No, anything. but if you watch this back, if you watch this tape back and watch it second by second, you will see...